everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you a tutorial on the coin purse metal die set I received from Scrap Diva Designs you can find this die set at scrapdivadesigns.com and get a 10% discount using the code prisgemic10 on your entire order all the details will be listed in the description box below let's get started what I'm going to be showing you will be this coin purse in a strawberry style that I talked about in my previous project share. And um, here's the back of the purse that I already made. And I'll be using also the box strips that also came from the February release to make this coin purse into a box. And the strip that I used was the second largest longest strip that was in the the die set uh it, there was four strips and this is the second largest one and the second longest one and it measures about 10.5 10.5 inches about approximately and by um the width is about 2.5 inches that's the strip that I used for this coin purse. And what I did was I cut a piece out and I cut this tab part off. As you can see here, I already cut it off. And so that the tab won't stick out and it's even on both sides. And so um, this back part, I already created the back part for the shaker. You don't have to make it into a shaker, but I just love how things are moving inside here and it makes the purse look extra special with the shaker at the back. And so I cut all, all the pieces out and just a tip is that um, if you are gonna make the back part um, and this shape is sort not really identical the shape it's kind of leaning towards the right so if you do the back you have to do it the inverted way so here's the front and the back as you can see i turned it over and then i decorated the things and same with the other pieces like this you can see it's kind of off a bit because i forgot to um, put the die on to the other side of of the thing to get it inverted so it's kind of slightly off for this part here but i did do the back like pink part the background i did invert it the other way to decorate but these ones i kind of forgot so you can see it's not centered here it's kind of leaning towards the right so that's the tip for this coin purse. Um, yeah, so I'll show you how I decorated the front, how I assembled it. I used some foam. So this is the very bottom background piece, the light pink, which is like this light purple here. And I used this die here, the largest one, and I cut out a pink. And the next thing I did was this kind of metallic sparkly glitter paper. And I used this stitched kind of uh, die for that. And you put it here like this. And I also, when I'm gluing it, I do not, I will leave a part here not glued because we're gonna attach this chain that acts as a handle for the purse onto this one side and onto the back side of the purse. So for this one, I also left the empty space. I didn't glue it. It's kind of not um, glued in this area, as you can see, see? I left it open a bit. So let's glue this part. Oops, I glued my hand. It's lifting the piece up so you could see more clearly. 
Usually I'll have this on the table for more stability. As you can see here, there. And now uh, the next layer is the pattern piece of paper. And that would be this die here, the smallest one with these, uh, the, the little notches to open the coin purse. So I used a pattern paper. This paper collection is called um, Strawberry Milkshake. Um, Prima Marketing's uh, paper collection line and I would glue this on top of the sparkle pipe paper, the glitter paper. Just like that. And next up, we're going to have some foam to make the shaker. You don't necessarily need to cut out the foam if you don't want to do a shaker, but I did want to make it into a shaker. So I have two pieces of this outline frame of the coin purse. So the foam is about, let's see here, the foam is about one millimeter. So now I have two. The reason why I have two is because I'm going to put some resin pieces in and they're quite tall. If you see here, the strawberry. So if you have like sequins, only one foam will do depending on how thick your foam is. Um, usually one would do, but I'm putting these taller pieces of resin in there. So, and I'm also putting these, uh, these hearts, these gem hearts, and they're a little bit tall too. Not as tall as the strawberries, but um, yeah. I'm gonna put three of these big hearts in there and five of these strawberries and some other resin pieces like these flowers with a gem in the middle. So let's glue this foam on. The foam is a little bit challenging because the, the nozzle of the glue keeps catching on the foam. And we're going to place it on top of the pattern paper on the edges. There. We're going to repeat the process. Make sure you tap it down you can also measure this because you know how the foam kind of stretches and uh, so you, you want to make sure that it's hiding underneath the actual top layer so it won't show that's another tip. I don't know if there's a better way. Mm. 
Okay. And let's do the second layer of foam. Glue that on top of the first layer of foam. Okay, and um, next we're going to fill this up. I also got some smaller resin heart, I mean resin heart flat box pieces here, are these hearts. And it comes with these coins, five cents, 25 cents. And it should have a 10 cents. Don't know why they're always disappearing on me. Oh goodness. Okay. I somehow have, oh, here it is. 10 cents. And we're going to put some sequins inside. I'm using primarily pinks and reds. I have a solid pink sequin. Put some in. And some red metallic sequins. And once you're done filling this up, we're going to use the acetate. Here we have an acetate and we're going to glue it on. I'm going to put some glue on the second layer. Place this on top. Put 
press on the sides. Okay, and for this top layer is a cardstock. And for the clasp, I have one piece of foam and the top layer is metallic to make it look like a metallic clasp. So we're going to glue this on the, to the top. And finally, this metallic paper. On top of the foam. There. And I have these circles for the top of the class. These circles are about, let's see, the diameter is about 8 mm. I'm going to put some glue here and place these right on top press on it there and <clears throat> what's next is we're gonna make some flowers so I prepared some ahead of time I this flowers from my stash the metal die and so I have what I did was I have a white cardstock and this vellum paper is colored and I would put the vellum on top of the white cardstock like this I put a dab of glue in the middle and I'll layer it on top like this and I made one already so I'm gonna put it on top of the other one and there's a space in between here so one petal is gonna go in between the space like this like that so let's put the dab of glue in the middle of this one 
and then place the flower on top, the other layer on top. And the petals are like alternating. And fluff it up, all the different petals. Or I can do it beforehand. So here we have it. This petal moved. Okay. And I have these stem, the stamen, I think that's how you call it. And um, we're going to turn on the glue gun. And we're going to st stick this part onto this flower. And also the gems in the middle. The gems in the middle are from, um, it's like a sticker gem sheet that I have. It looks like this. And the diameter for these ones are about 10 millimeters, 9 to 10 milliliters. And, um, yeah, I just put, I place them on top because they're really sticky already. So, um, I take one and I put this in the middle of this part here and I just press on it really hard and it stays in there like that and we're gonna glue this so I did already this is sort of like a orangey red color and this is just plain white with some white vellum on there and we're gonna glue these onto the middle like this and place it onto the purse just waiting for the glue gun to heat up and um, then we can place these metal chains on there too. And I'll show you how I did the heart too. What I did for the heart is I got this glass heart and it's double sided. So what I would do is take this glass heart and the piece of paper where you like the image, or you can do a background. Um, let's say the background was polka dot and you can cut a little piece of like picture and place it on top of the background. So it's up to you. Uh, right here, I, I think this is already perfect. I, I'm this picture here. So what I did, I placed it on top of the picture and I used a pencil and I traced around this glass heart like this. And then you'll see that that's what I, that's what you see here is the a pencil that I traced around the glass heart and now we're going to cut that out but I see the glue gun is ready so um, let's just glue these on first gotta be extra careful it's really hot the glue gun Place it in the middle. I think it's off center, but it's fine. And some more on this one. Just a dab of hot glue gun on this flower. Finally, the last one. There, and we're gonna, oops, I dropped it, hold on, let's get it, we're 
we're going to arrange the flowers where we like it and I have the girl we're going to put her here it's kind of looking it looks like she's looking into into a field of strawberries and a sentiment strawberry fields forever we're going to place it here and i have some gem stickers here and we're going to put some around just like how we see with this uh this one this purple one we have some gems around so um that's our reference anywhere you like and I have some gems here and I'll add I'm not sure if this red matches I'll just use the white ones maybe one down here anywhere and I also have some decorations on this side So I have this flower and I'm going to put another flower here. What else do I have? Oh, I have a butterfly. Butterfly is going to go on top like this. So that's what I'm going to do. And I also have, this is from my stash, it's from Chaos Craft, and it's called Heart Finds. I'll link in the descri description box too where you can find this. And we're going to put it in the same area as the purple one, like that. Just gives a little accent. So pretty. So, um, yeah, let's glue all of these on. We'll glue the girl first. Then the flowers. And the gems. Oops. Oh, this one's already stuck on there. And I also have this decoration tape with some gems on here. We're going to add some on. 
to down here and some on the top. Like this. There. And finally, this one last gem. There. So pretty. And we are also needing the glue gun for the chain. I've put a jump ring at the end here and this slips through the part where we didn't glue on so we're going to put some hot glue in that slot first put some hot glue I'll, I'll just put it on the loop whoa okay I'm kind of burning myself here <laughs> Okay, it didn't end up where I wanted it to be. Um, yeah, let's do it again. There. And slip it in between the slot. There. Like that. So the loop is supposed to be like mostly in or like at least halfway in. And we're going to do the other side soon too. Um, we'll just do this one side for now. Because we're going to put the strip on too. So let's do the strip now. Here's the strip. And what I did with the strip as well, I put some uh, double sided tape on the side as well as the side. And I used a scissor. The scissor has some kind of, um, forgot what you call this layer titanium titanium nonstick but I've kind of it's kind of um I sharpened it and it kind of went away but it's good for like if you're doing cutting tape it won't stick to your scissor so uh in between these triangles you would cut a slit but you don't have to put it all the way to the top because I found that um if you're pulling the tape off it'll come out in sections but if you just cut it before the tape ends, just a little bit, leave a little bit of space there. When you're pulling out the tape, it won't, um, it won't go, it won't come out in pieces. It'll just come out in all in one strip. So I did it all the way for all the triangles on this side as well as this side. And I believe these are the one fourth of an inch uh, double-sided tape. I had the package here somewhere. Um, not sure where it went. I was going to show you it was like one fourth of an inch. Okay, so once you put that on, we're going to remove the strip like this. See, it all came out in one strip, as you can see, as well as, uh, we'll just do one side for now. Let's Move this aside 
and we'll do this part first we'll flip it over and you're gonna measure halfway in between this and this but I'm just gonna wing it and eye it <laughs> so um, yeah you can measure the middle and and the middle of the purse so um, this is like this is uh, about 25.5 so it'll be 12 point 12.5 Two five, so around here, this would be the middle, and this is like the middle of the purse, and put it onto the edge, like edge of the purse. Not sure if you can see it like this, and curve it along the way. Just along the way, just make sure it's on the edge. The shape of the purse, like this. And I find it's nice to put glue on this glue on the strips because um, it's kind of dry here in Canada, so it's uh it's making everything like come apart because the air is so dry so uh yeah you could put some glue on here to make it s stay in place so like yeah on the tabs so okay Let's continue on. I put the tape there because um, it's easier to adhere and you won't be like tackling it. Like it'll try to like come out or anything. So that's the purpose of the tape too. It's faster to adhere onto, but after a while the heat because of the winters here. You're turning on the heat and the air is so dry, it dries out the sticky tape. So um, yeah, that's why I added some glue. Keep following the edges and pressing on to these tabs inside. getting there just those one more side there we have it and um, yeah just before you finish see if it is see it's not um, aligned so the side is a little bit longer you could either cut it you could cut it or you can readjust it if it would come out like before you stick everything on I I'll, I'll guess I'll just cut it I'll just cut it So I'm going to cut about, let's say one for now, one tab with my scissor to make it even. I might need another tab. I'm going to cut another tab off. 
yeah so just try to um, measure it beforehand There, we're almost done. Oh. See the tape is already getting dried up from the heat. There. Let's work on the other side now. Remove the tape. And this is the front. I'm gonna put some glue on. Kind of press in there because it's kind of curvy in the this part here there now for this side yeah this is the most trickiest part After this, it's smooth sailing. There. To try to use this to press on the inside parts.
got your box here. One of the gems fell out. Let me put it back in. Or you can use some hot glue on that too. There. And uh, let's glue the other side of the chain too. So I'm going to turn on my glue gun, my hot glue gun again. While we're waiting for the hot glue gun to uh, warm up, we're going to finish this um, part that I was talking about. Um, so I cut out one image already and I'm going to put it in the heart here. And if it doesn't fit, if it's too big, you can try to trim off wherever it's like the access. And um, we're going to do the other side. So I'm going to cut that out. Turn it over and place it on the other side like that. So we have two sides. One has a teacup and the other side has the girl on it. And we're going to place this on top and it kind of magnifies the picture. See how it magnifies. And here's the teapot. What I do is I use a little bit of this uh, glossy accents and I put a little bit on the edges like this. just a little bit so that it could hold the glass in place on the edges. Stick the glass on top, press on it, and we're going to do it on to the other side. Repeat the process. kind of solidified doesn't want to come out there Place the glass on top, press on it, and then here we have the heart. Okay, let's uh, put this chain on the other side. Just put a dab of glue on this chain like this. Like that. And then place it in the space that you didn't put glue in. So 
so I just place it in there. Gotta do it quickly or else um, your glue is gonna be solidified. Let's try this again. And then press on it, make sure it's not too hot. There. Now we got the purse done. This is the back. This is the front. It's really neat. And I see that I don't have the two at the back, the gems. So let's put that on. There. We're almost there. We're gonna. Oh, the jumps came loose. Okay. We're going to attach this heart, and I have this strawberry. And I made this uh, handle, it's an extra thing. Um, you could put it on this chain here with uh, another, a big jump ring. Like, I don't know, maybe this one. This is really useful. It has many different sizes. Um, yeah, so I would attach it onto this chain here, wherever you think you wanna put the handle and then this could clip onto this jump ring like this and it could have a handle like this you can hold it like this or with this chain I don't know yeah so um Let's attach the strawberry and the heart and we're done. So I'll use another two jump rings for these. Here's the strawberry coin purse. Super cute. Just trying to get the coins. Yeah, here we have the coins. Three D coin purse. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to attach all the links to where you could get this coin purse and maybe some of the materials. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.